God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Halavrando zevekeve iskova askeve intelevekova. Tonight, um, I'm gonna really allow God to use me. Tonight, I'm going to allow God to really flow through me tonight. I'm really going to allow him to speak through me. I'm going to allow him to minister through me. Um, God bless you. Tonight is me a night of prayer and deliverance. God bless you, Emmanuel. It's going to be a night of prayer and deliverance. God has really been taking me on a journey of intensifying my prayer life. I was in the shower a couple days ago and the Lord began to speak to me about deeper fasting. So I've been going on this journey with the Lord and the last like two months the Lord has been really giving me diverse teachings and there's a level in the spirit that the Lord has been calling me into um, but with all that being said the Lord began to speak to me that there are many people that are going that that, that need to be ministered unto so tonight I'm gonna take the time to pray for people to bring them through deliverance okay um, now I have a really big issue with the people who are not serious with their walk with the Lord because it becomes a problem you have to be serious with your walk with the Lord and it's not for me to pray about for you but it's for you to make a decision today to choose whom this day who you will serve you must make a decision to serve the Lord to live for the Lord to pursue him because I cannot do anything for you if you are not willing to live for God all right so we're gonna we're, I'm just gonna open this up in prayer then I'm gonna bring some people on and then we're gonna um, bring some people through deliverance now this is for those that truly need deliverance okay this is for those that actually need deliverance not to come on here and just say you know I just feel I don't know if I never been through deliverance before I don't know it only people that know they need deliverance Okay, I'm not talking about healing. I'm not, I'm not doing a live stream of healing or anything like that. This is solely on deliverance. And listen, if you're not standing, if you're not living right with God, don't join. Now, if before, if you're not living right with God, you can type in the comments, I'm not living right with God. Then maybe I can message you or maybe... Um, I can bring you one and then I can help you that way outside of deliverance But if you are not living right with God don't come on here for deliverance because you don't need deliverance You need repentance and you need to join my teachings You need to get plugged into a church and you need to study the Word of God. That's what you need to do Deliverance will not change your situation um, For those of you that come on here and I ask you the question. Are you living right by God? All right? Only those that know they need deliverance, okay? Only those that know they need it. That's a, if you don't know, Louise, if you don't know, you know, there are people that don't know and they still need it, but I'm focusing on those that know they need deliverance right now. Because it just makes it easier for me because I don't want people joining the stream and then it's just sitting there and they're like, I don't know, I just want to check, you know? But it's just easier for me to pray for people that know and they understand and whatnot. But let me open this up in prayer. Father, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for this time, this opportunity, Lord Jesus, to be here with your people. Lord, your word says that two or three are gathered in my name. I'm there in thy midst. Father, I pray, God, that you will use me as your vessel, O God. 
And even as I, Lord, begin to pray, oh God, even as I begin to bring people on, God, I pray that you will also do a work within me, a work within my wife, a work within my son, a work within my, everyone in my family. God, I pray that you would move. Oh, Emmanuel, God, with us. Oh, Adonai, Yeko Savan, Seve Inskevando, Vaskova, Aske, Leman Sove, Ikeve Kuva, Anteleve Inskotova, Reman Sova, Anteve Iskova, Askeve Inte. Father, I pray tonight, God, that you would use me to help set your people free. And for those that are not living in right standing with you, oh God. I pray that they will come into repentance, even in this very moment. That they will make the decision today to stop their practice of sin. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We will rise in your name. Adonai, we praise your name. Let, let's go. Let's do this. Okay. Now, before I bring some people on, I want you to understand this. If you don't manifest, it doesn't, who cares? You don't need to manifest. Okay. You don't need to manifest. And when I pray for you, there is a work that you need to do. There was life after deliverance, and it's called spiritual warfare. There was life after this one-on-one. -on -one. There was warfare after this one-on-one. -on -one. There was a prayer life after this one-on-one. -on -one. There was a fasting life after this one-on-one. -on -one, one -on -one. There was a keeping up with your repentance after this one-on-one. -on -one. It, doesn't, it doesn't end here. It doesn't end here because if you think it ends here, you have an idolatry problem. It doesn't end here. I can help you through the power of the Holy Spirit. But if you do not continue, you'll be consumed by spiritual warfare. We will rise in your name. Adonai, we praise your name. We will rise in your name, Adonai, we praise your name. Listen. Oh, Shali Brando Ve Inskavando. Hey, how you doing? Uh, how you doing? So we're, we're in a room all together. Uh, me and my wife started a ministry, and we've got eight people that are here with us. We all joined on your live here trying to, to catch up with you. Um, but we're just looking for a prayer for witchcraft attacks. Um, we, yeah, we came out of a ministry that was in a lot of mixture, and we're just well, trying to break through. Excuse me? What well, ministry? Was that was this a random ministry or was it a big ministry? Uh, just a, a local ministry. It wasn't. It's not huge. It's not small. It's just okay. something local to where we're at. Yeah. Okay. So you're getting a witchcraft retaliation or attacks? Yeah. Correct. Okay. And the people within the ministry are getting the attacks as well. Okay. We will definitely uh, pray for that. Is that the only thing you want to pray for? Oh, and. and we need prayer for this one too. I need prayer. Um, there has been a witch in my family mm -hmm. and my family hasn't talked about it, but I'm the only one trying to deal with it. And I'm having dreams about her, but she died before she died though. She did give her life to Christ, but she did something to the bloodline where there's like been poverty. There's been progression. There's no, like, I'm not able to like go forward. Then I know it's because of her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
Well, we're going to pray, and God is going to do what he can do, what only he can do for you all in Jesus' name. Um, so, Father, Lord Jesus, I thank you, God, for each and every person that is in that room right now that are awaiting a move of God. Yes. Father, your word says if two or three are gathered in my name, I'm there in thy midst. And it's not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, thus saith the Lord. Lord, I pray for each and every person in that room, Lord. Every witchcraft attack, every spirit of retaliation that comes by way of dreams, Father God, or any other way, we break it completely in the name of Jesus Christ, Father God. Any curses that have been sent against these individuals, we break it right now in the name of Jesus, God. Any seducing spirit, any spirit that is infiltrated in their lives, Father God, from a ministry that is mixed, I break it completely. Right now in Jesus' name, every power in there, every evil spirit that is in these people right now, I say, come out now in the name of Jesus. Right now, right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, every single one of you now, right now, every kundalini spirit, I command it to break in the name of Jesus. Every generational curse within the bloodline, I say, come out now in Jesus' name. Right now, every power that enters your dreams, I command it to break now in Jesus' name. Every one of you, every one of you, out, 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 out. Demonic impartation, every spirit of lack, anti-progression, anti-marriage, I break it now. Out of each and every one of you, every single woman right now, out of every man right now, in the name of Jesus, we command these things to come out. Everything that is hindering financial breakthrough, everything that is hindering ministry, I break it by the power of the Holy Spirit right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, everything that is blocking your destiny, that is blocking your dreams, that is coming in your dreams, I command it to be broken, sexual dreams. We break it now in the name of Jesus right now. Every spiritual spouse, out now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. Now I want all of you right now to put your hand in your stomach. We're going to pray right now. On your stomach. Whatever is still remaining in your body will begin to be broken. That it will leave. That there would not only be manifestations, but there will be a change in your life. That things will begin to shift. Father, I pray for each and every person that has their hand on their stomach. Lord, whatever is remaining still in their bodies that is not like you, that has not come from you, I command it to leave them now in the name of Jesus. Every single one of them comes out now. Every demonic altar, every demonic covenant, it breaks. The bloodline of adultery, the bloodline of fornication, bloodlines of abortion, we break it now in the name of Jesus. And so we command that witchcraft spirit to leave each and every person now by the authority of Christ Jesus. Oh my God. And there's some of you that the Lord has called you into the place of intercession. And the Lord says, this is the reason why the enemy has been fighting your sleep. God has called some of you into the place of intercession, intercession to be an intercessor. And this is why the enemy has been frustrating your sleep. This is why you feel like you're having issues with sleep because the Lord is calling you to be an intercessor. But I pray now in the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit that fights your calling, that fights your destiny, that fights your ministry, I break it now completely in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every hex, every curse that may have been sent to this household, to these people, I break it. Anything these people have inherited from their parents, from their bloodline, we command it now to be broken. Detached from them completely, 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 completely in the name of Jesus. Completely. What, what, what is that woman's name in the... In, I just said, whoa, what's her name? Janine. 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 Let me, I want to pray for you really quick. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Janine now. Every kundalini spirit, every spirit of witchcraft, 
<laughs> Listen to me now. Get out now completely. Come out quickly. Everything now. Out of you now. In the name of Jesus. Out in the name hey. of Jesus. Completely. Come out. That spirit of witchcraft. <laughs> and leave you now. Now when Jesus said, get out, get out, get out. Let it go, let it go, let it go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. In the name of Jesus. Out. Everything that has entered from a false minister, it comes out now in the name of Jesus. It leaves now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Listen, I'm, I want to talk to all you guys. I come out of Catholicism. You were in Catholicism. Yeah. I break that completely now in Jesus' name. Everything with Catholicism, idol worship, it ceases now completely. Come out of her now. Every soul fragment, we cancel it now. Every soul fragment, we cancel it now. We break the walls completely. Listen, uh, I want to talk to you guys all. The Lord, I don't know what you guys have been doing, but the Lord is going to lead you guys into a fast. What does that mean? We're, fast. We're actually right fasting, yeah, yeah, right now. You're fasting. Um, can, can I say one thing, though? My grandfather, even though I've gone through, like, the renunciation and gone through some self-deliverance with this, he was a high-ranking Mason, and I just want to make sure that none of that is coming through that. I want to make sure there's nothing left. Like, I've repented. I've, you know, gone through all the, you know, um, up to every level. Mm -hmm. and What's your name? Chelsea. Kelsey. Chelsea. Kelsey. Chelsea. Chelsea. So Freemasonry in the bloodline. Yeah. Father Lord Jesus, I pray now by the power of the Holy Spirit, anything that she may have inherited from her father, Freemasonry, any demonic impartation or residual spirits, I command it to be broken off her life now in the name of Jesus, that whatever may be lingering in her soul, in her body, God, we command it to break now. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, and let you go now. Ooh. And let you go now. And let you go now completely. It comes out now. It comes out now. It Ooh. comes out now in the name of Jesus. Hey. It comes out now in the name of Jesus. Every false God, every demonic altar in Freemasonry, we break it hey. in the name of Jesus. Every demonic influence Ooh. that comes against your life, it Ooh. breaks today in the name of Jesus Christ. May there not be another spirit that is transferred out of you. The only spirit that will come out of you is the power of the Holy Ghost from today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we cancel the assignment of divination. We cancel the assignment of every evil altar that tries to quench the anointing in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ today, Father, we clean her hands with the blood of Jesus and we command whatever is remaining in her soul to leave now by the authority of Christ in Jesus' mighty name, by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Listen, as you guys are in that fast, you know, there's going to be major deliverance that's going to take place. There's going to be some of you that are going to begin to have dreams of you uh, manifesting in the dreams, because this is going to be a revelation that the Lord is setting your soul free. And the Lord wants you to highlight a few people. I don't know the names, but there is the, the, individually the lack of prayer in their lives individually. And the Lord is going to call them into the place of intercession where they're going to have trouble sleeping. And this is going to be the Lord troubling them at night. Do you understand me? Troubling them at night for the area yeah. of prayer. Because there's one thing to pray corporately, but I'm seeing individually, privately in their lives. You understand yeah. me? Yeah. So that is what the Lord's gonna do. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you. No worries. God bless here. you. Okay. Yes. Pardon? Um, do you have time for one more? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um back in uh, December, like the Lord um <clears throat> put it in my heart about like I, I wanted to get off the birth control, right? So I was like, Lord, if it's your will for me to have more children, let it be so, but if not, close my womb. So what was it like the end of the beginning of February? It was like February seventh. I found out I was pregnant after we went on like a everybody fast was in we were, my family, my husband. We were all like happy and expecting, you know, for the, like this baby to come forth. But then um, you were bleeding. But it was by like bleeding. March. I was like I started bleeding, and it was like this fear was like creeping in, and that I was gonna lose the baby. And my son, he's four. He was like, um, where are we gonna bury the baby? And then um, 
he progressed from like there to where he was like, he looked at me like it was like two a week later and he was like, you're not pregnant anymore. And then I um, had bleeding on March 16th where I was like losing, you know, clotting and all that. And they basically came down to, I, I lost the baby. Um, I, I've, I've, and I'm still battling this. Like I'm still like bleeding, having to go get blood work like every week. And the hormone is like still there. And it's, I don't know. I just feel like it's some kind of attack because when I was in the world, I had two healthy like pregnancies. I've never, my mom never had any kind of like miscarriage, but my grandmother had a stillbirth. So I'm like, there's mm-hmm. something in the bloodline that's a, a call. Like, I'm like yeah. the bloodline breaker yes. of yeah, we both all my know. family like lines, my mother and my father. Yes. It's Catholicism on both sides and definitely like witchcraft. Yes. And in, in the scriptures, there was a woman with the issue of blood for 12 years, right? And obviously it was demonically sourced because anyone that has an issue of blood for 12 years is not normal, right? And she could only be healed by the power of God. And there are many women that have come to me about the whole thing about fibroids, heavy heavy bleeding, or this woman, uh, if she doesn't stay on birth control, the doctor says she's gonna bleed to death, all this crazy right. stuff, right? I've prayed for many women like that and God has completely healed them and they have given birth. But I'm gonna pray for you now in Jesus' name. And by your faith, you are going to be healed and delivered Ooh. by the authority. Christ. Do you understand me? Yes. Father, I command that spirit that is causing that issue of blood. By reason of the blood of Jesus, the Bible says that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I command that spirit of infirmity. I command that spirit of miscarriage to come out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth right now. Every issue of blood, every demonic force, every blood sucking demon, everything connected to that menstrual cycle, heavy bleeding, demonic covenant, blood covenant, I see them by the authority of Christ. I say come out now. Completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, in Jesus' name, every demon connected to your bloodline, connected to your blood, every spirit of death, I break it. Every spirit of death, I break it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And the Lord says that I'm, he is also restoring your energy levels, that every fight against your energy levels is being restored in the name of Jesus by the authority of Christ. I destroy that issue of blood in the name of Jesus. At least now. This issue is connected to an altar. Father, we burn that altar now in the name of Jesus Christ. We burn it now. And we say, be free now in the name of Jesus Christ. We release the fire of God all over your body to purify you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It ends today. It ends tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You will, have a testimony. you will have a testimony, all right? And when you yeah. do, I don't know, you can reach out to me from this account or whatever or send us an email. Uh, but continue to pray. Yes. Continue <coughs> to pray, all right? Amen. There's an agenda of the enemy to cause strange infirmities that yeah. come out of nowhere to uh, come about in your life. But in the name of Jesus, it will not come to be. Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay. Anyways, listen, it is good that you guys are in a fast because that, that's what the Lord showed me that he was, he was doing because there's going to be a shift in, in the spirit pertaining to each and every individual's life, like your spirit man, because uh, there's some of you where your spirit man needs to be strengthened and that will yes. come right yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, and the Lord is leading you into that area because there is still a great purpose that the Lord has for, for many of you, all of you, within this household but in order for you to deal with certain kinds of spirits the bible says you must go into prayer and fasting right. and you are the bloodline breaker the lord says in your life and that's why the enemy has a you hear me um but listen it'll be a pleasure to pray for you guys yes, all right thank you thank you no thank worries you. blessings god bless you take care Ooh, how do we get off we will rise in your name we will rise in your name Adonai we praise your name 
We will rise in your name, Adonai. O Kazifikai wa Uskabande. O Randove is Kevin de Levekuva and Skove Ante. There is something that God is doing something tonight. There is something that the Lord is doing tonight. I feel him right now. The Lord is bringing healing. The Lord is bringing deliverance. Listen, there's some of you that are have requested, but um, yesterday you told me that you didn't mean to request, so I don't know if to accept you or not. I don't know if I should, should accept you because I don't know if you if you clicked by accident again. All right. We will rise in your name. Adonai, we will rise. Adonai. Oh, my God. Hello, how you doing? Hello? Hello. Can you, Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Where are you from? I'm, I, I live in Chicago, but originally from Belize. Okay. Um, yes. what, area, what area do you need prayer for? I really need prayer for a better paying job, a, a job right now, and a, a home. I, I really need a home right now. Are you struggling financially? Yes. Okay. Is that the only... We'll, we'll, we'll pray about that, okay? Has there been a struggle in your family financially? Yes. Even with your parents? When my parents has passed so away. Even before, like when your parents were alive, did they struggle financially? Yes. Okay. Father Lord Jesus, oh, what is your name? Diane. Diane. Father Lord, we thank you for the life of Diane, Father God. Lord, your word says that you have come so we may have life and life more abundantly. Lord, I pray, God, that you would open up financial doors for Diane, that she'll be able to, to receive that house, that favor would be her portion in the name of Jesus. Lord, but I pray against every evil power, every principality that is restricting her capacity to get her home or her capacity to have financial resources. We break it in the name of Jesus Christ, God. We command any spirit of lack, limitation, to be broken now in the name of Jesus, God. And I pray that doors shall open, doors of favor, doors of generosity, doors of opportunity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God. I pray, Lord, that you would blow her mind, Father God, with your goodness in this season in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God. For your word says that you supply all our needs. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Amen. God bless you, okay? Thank you. Christ. God bless you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Um, I know some of you will try to join because, um, you may need some type of prayer request for this breakthrough. Listen to me strictly about deliverance. Okay. Because I will be on here all night praying for people's, I want a car, you know, I want a house and, and those are good prayers to pray. All right. But the focal point is deliverance all right the focal point is deliverance or i'll be here all night praying for people's houses and stuff like that and those are good things to pray but the focal point is helping people get free we will rise adonai you rise adonai yeah we will rise. 
we will rise as a night. We rise as a night. How you doing? Blessings. I didn't think I was going to get picked, but let me transfer to my car real quick. Where you, you'll be the only guy, so I said, look, because the guys don't really come on, so I chose you. So. <laughs> what Thank you much. area did you get prayer for? Um, long story short, uh, I believe I need prayer for the spirit of fear. Uh, that's one, two, I might have it false impartation because it was one time I, I dream a lot and I had like sleep paralysis but in the sleep paralysis uh, I seen myself casting out the spirit of my old uh, ministry and then uh, the third one is probably a uh, spirit of affirmity because uh, it's like I've been going through like random symptoms and sickness and it's been like two years and I've been to the doctor, doctor for like 30 times and yeah. I really cannot find uh anything except the vitamin D deficiency and every test just comes back normal. Have, have, have you been to this before? Uh, like a year and a half ago. Were yes. you manifesting at all or anything or no? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. And how's your relationship with God? Have you been living pure before the Lord? Uh, yes. Okay. Let's pray. Uh, what's your name? Anton. So fear, false impartation and Spirit of Affirmity. And your name was sorry again. What was your name again? Anton. Ant Anton? Yep. Father Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for the life of Anton, God, and what you are currently doing in his life and what you will do now. God, your mercies are new every morning. Father God, I pray, Jesus, that you will touch him now. Amen. That Every spirit of fear. Your word says, I did not give you a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Lord, I command the spirit of fear to leave him now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of fear, terror, I command it to be broken now, completely. Lord, every spirit of infirmity, sickness, diseases, Father God, we command it to be completely destroyed and disintegrated out of every part of his body, out of his blood, every blood cell. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we break it completely now. We command it to leave him now in Jesus' name. Right now. Every sort of sickness, we say go now. In, in Jesus' name, Lord, in every false impartation, from a false prophet or a false ministry, I completely break it off from now in Jesus' name. And we say go. We say go. We say go. In the name of Jesus, every demonic encounters in the night, sleep paralysis, sexual dreams, we break it. We destroy it in the name of Jesus. We de decree and declare tonight that these things shall not come back. Lord, we place a, a wall of fire over him in Jesus' mighty name by the authority of Christ that today, from today, that he is delivered from fear, that he is delivered from night terrors in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Father, I pray that you will lead him to be more of a zealous one Amen. and a more of a passionate one when it comes to the things of God, when it comes to prayer in the name of Jesus, that the enemy will not rob his prayer life in the name of of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord Jesus. Let your fire come upon him now in Jesus' name. Let your fire come upon him now in Jesus' name and burn out every single evil spirit, every single impure spirit now. Every spirit of witchcraft breaks now. It 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 breaks now. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic covenant that is coming from the bloodline, I command it to be broken now. Every de demonic covenant that comes from the bloodline, I said, let him go now. Let him go. Let him go now. Let him go now. Quickly, quickly. Come on. Come on. 
Come out. Come out. Come out. Good, good. Sir, sir, what what is your background? What you mean? Like where are you from? Are you, just, where are you from the USA? Oh uh, yeah, Detroit. Detroit. Your parents are American too? Yeah. What you, uh, a majority of what you are dealing with, it comes from an inheritance. I, I believe it. I, uh, I used to have dreams of uh, well, my current grandma. She's a Christian, but like I would dream of uh, like uh, my grandma was doing like tarot cards once, and then another dream of she had a, a rat spirit going in her mouth, and then I had to cast it out of her. So yeah, uh, but I could. I, I dream so much, and so um, it's kind of hard for me to piece uh, yes. things together. Yes. But, but Father, we pray now in Jesus' name that whatever forces darkness, Lord, we go to the root, demonic altars, iniquity in the bloodline, rebellion in the bloodline. We break it off from now in the name of Jesus. Leave him now. 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 <laughs> now. <laughs> Now, everything connected, to, everything, connected to that everything connected to that iniquity, everything connected to that altar, leave yeah. now. <laughs> the origin of it now. Go everything now in the name of Jesus. Every principality that has been ruling your life and causing infirmity, it breaks. Yes, you enter, you principality of infirmity. Come out in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Quickly, get out. <laughs> Demonic dreams, feeding you in the dreams, initiating you in the night. Covenants in the night. Oh, Kazit Vikav Vaham Deme Vikova. We cut it off. We cut it off. We cut it off. We remove your name, your blood from every altar. Father, wherever his soul has been captivated. Grits held in bondage. We pray we break open that prison cell now in the name of Jesus. And we say, it comes out now. It comes out now. It comes out now. You no longer have access to that soul. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come out. 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 Come up. <laughs> Witchcraft, sorcery, divination, mediums, psychics, tarot cards in the bloodline, in the family. Everything to do with family members. I break it off of you now in Jesus' name. Mm. Quickly, out, now. <laughs> and Father, I pray now in Jesus' name from today forth that he will be the bloodline breaker. That everything will shift. And I pray that a fresh fire will come upon him now in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, right now. A fresh fire come upon you right now in Jesus' name, right now. Right now. May you be a bold one, a zealous one. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May you walk in the calling and the destiny that the Lord has laid out for you. And may there be no delays, stagnancies, restrictions. In the name of Jesus. I pray for the glory of God to touch you even now. I pray for the glory of God, the Ruach of God, to breathe upon you now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, rando veis kevende. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you, all right? Amen. Thanks so much, Prophet Abednego. I appreciate it. Blessings to you. No worries. God bless you. Take care. Yeah. We will rise. We will rise at the night, at the night. We will rise in your name, at the night. Oh, rip
Bekile Brain Sobove. Oh, Shatala Vanto de Iskevende. Yele Bekusa Vande de Isavandeha. Oh, Shemianda de Vasove Antiliosa. Yere under a Vasove Anto Gavante. Yinderioso Vande. We worship you, Jesus. We give you the glory and the praise. Our glory goes back to you. All honor and praise unto you, Jesus. Do what only you can do, Abba. Oh, shakatalaba so kebende. Do what only you can do, Jesus. 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 Do what only you can do. Come on. God is doing it even now. Heaven to the is heaven day. We will rise. Uh, 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 that was definitely a scam. If someone replied to my YouTube comments and sent you a link or anything like that, talking about an orphanage or anything like that, it is it is not me. It is a scam on YouTube, so be very careful because uh, it's, it's not me. We will rise, we will rise in your name. In your name, we will rise. Oh. I'm trying to. Uh, we will rise, we will rise in your name. So, yes, love milk and honey. Said uh, yes, I report them. Continue to report them. Hello, how you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm doing absolutely amazing. What area did you need prayer for? Um, honestly, I need deliverance from lust, and then I know that my grandfather and my grand aunt had um, was in Freemasonry. Freemasonry. I don't know what level though, but. Um, I need deliverance in that area and then also um to be delivered from witchcraft because um back in like 2020 or so i was uh using tarot cards and stuff like that and since then i've like prayed about it and i asked for forgiveness and i repented but i don't think i fully got delivered from it um so i just from the witchcraft? huh delivered from the witchcraft yeah. yeah and then also like um I have like sexual, well, I have a lot of dreams, but I have sexual dreams and um, I, I, I need deliverance from all of that. Everything, honestly. My question is, how is, how is your, are you living pure before God? Am I pure before You're God? I'm going to be honest. I've been working on my relationship with him and I started last month and I've been praying and I've been re trying to read my Bible. And I had a problem with masturbation, and I completely cut that out. Okay. So I'm really trying to get my life together and get it right before. So if I were to ask you, are you living pure before God? Is yes or no? Yes. Okay. And then you said you, you haven't engaged in any form of sexual sin in the last month? No, not in the last Re month, no. Recently, last week? No. Mm -mm. Okay. The reason I'm, I'm telling you this is because when you say you need deliverance from the spirit of lust, you got to understand, there's a spirit of lust. There's a spirit of perversion. There's a spirit of so many things that are listed in sexual variety that a person yeah. can have. And your issue is not necessarily lust because, you know, it's, it's greater than that. That's just a low ranking demon. Oh, okay. okay. But we're, we're going to pray. Okay. Those things are really sourced from the spirits mm -hmm. that are having sex with you at night. Those spiritual spouses, those marine powers, that's what's really afflicting you. But we're going to pray now in Jesus' name. How you been through deliverance? Um, this is like my first time actually like doing something like this. Okay. Now you need to make sure that you make up your mind that you cut off certain people in your life that lead you to sin, cut them off because okay. you're not in a place right now where you can even minister unto them because you're struggling right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then you need to uh, also make sure that how you express yourself is that of modesty and that of God. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. I don't know you, but make sure that the way you express yourself is that of God, because you do not want what comes out of you today 
to re-enter. Because the Bible says you will get seven times worse. So whatever you're going through now, it will get seven times worse. Okay. Does that scare you? Honestly, yes, but I'm ready and it, I know it, I need it. it. It shouldn't scare you because they can't come back unless you let them. Okay. I, I mean, like, I've read the passages where it's like, it'll come back and I don't want them to come back because I'm tired of dealing with that. Yeah, because the, you don't understand what it's actually doing to your life. It's not just sexual dreams and all that, right? One more time, sorry. So you don't actually know what they're doing in your life. It's not just, you're not just having sexual dreams. There are things that are they're doing to the progression of your life. There are things mm -hmm. that are doing to your soul and you don't know, you just think it's sexual dreams and it's not. They don't just come to have sex with you. That's not what it is. Okay. Okay, but we're gonna pray, okay? What is your name? Abrina. Abrina. Father God, I thank you for the life of Abrina, God. Thank you, Lord, that she has come on here transparent what she's dealing with. Lord, this is her first time, God. Lord Jesus, I pray by the authority of Christ, because of her confession, because of her openness, God, I pray, God, that you would touch her even now. That every evil power, every evil spirit, every spirit of witchcraft, I command it to surface and to come out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every sort of sexual immorality. It comes out now. 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 The fire burns. The fire burns. It comes out now. It comes out now. Cough it up. Come out in Jesus' name. It burns. It burns. It out. It comes out in the name of Jesus. Come out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, the in the name of Jesus. In your name, I don't know. In your name, I don't know. Has this happened to you before? Like this? No. No. Like, I'm literally trembling. Are you serious with God? How old are you? I'm 25. There are so many things that God wants to do through you. And I hear the Lord begin to speak to me that if you devote your life unto him in purity, The path he will take you to will be that of joy, that of greatness, that of destiny, that of no disappointment. You will go through hard times, but that path that the Lord will take you to, oh my God. Make sure that there is not a circle of people around you that will lead you astray. Okay. Let me pray for you again. Holy Spirit, Jesus, thank you for this young lady. Thank you, Jesus, for her life. Oh, Jesus, Emmanuel, God, with us. Lord, your word says that these kinds of spirits will not leave except by prayer and fasting. Lord, I speak to the foundation by what she's standing on now. Everything from the foundation up, it leaves now. Go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come out. Mm. Go in the name of Jesus. It comes, mm. It's coming out. It's coming out. Everything to do with witchcraft, sexual mm. immorality, lust, reprobate mind, it breaks in the name of Jesus. Mm. Demonic covenants, come out. Everything you have eaten in your dreams, mm. sexual dreams, spiritual spouses, incubus, succubus, it comes out now. And the fire burns harder. 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 In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Go. Go. Witchcraft ends today out of your body. Sorcery. Divination. It ends now. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Oh my God. Come out of her now. Come out of her now.
And Father Lord Jesus, I pray, your word says, I baptize with water, but the one that comes after me will baptize with the Holy Ghost and fire. Lord, I pray that the fire of the Holy Ghost will come upon her now. In Jesus' name, let it touch her now. Let it touch her now. From today forth, she will not remain the same. Lord, Lord Father God, fill her with the fire of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, the Lord is touching you right now. There's a shift that is taking place in your spirit. There is a shift that is taking place in your spirit even now. Oh my God, it comes in. It comes upon you now. It comes upon you now. Oh, you're having that moment of Pentecost even now in the name of Jesus. Oh, it comes now. In the name of Jesus, your story will no longer be the same. For God is redirecting your steps. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Listen to me. Um, listen to me. Take your life seriously to the Lord. Because if you don't, what just happened? If you ever get prayed for again, it will be your manifestation will be seven times worse. Okay. 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 I'm young too. I'm 29. You're 25. We ain't far away. And if I can live pure by God, you can live pure too. Yeah, you're right. You feel yeah. me? Now, is there, is there is there any people in your life that are a temptation? You don't have to say names. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, just be careful. You don't have to just like completely ghost them, but you need to create boundaries and restrict and make sure that you are allowing God to do a work in your life. For the Lord says even now that he's going to bring you through a process of internal healing. Okay. Okay? He's going to bring you through a process of internal healing and purification within you. I'm and sorry. I don't mean to cry. You said what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to cry. <sighs> yeah, the Lord's going to bring you through internal healing. The Lord cares about you. And he sees your heart. There was a work that the Lord wants to do within you. The Lord says, there's a Bible verse, the Lord is speaking to me, and he says that I will give you, I will take away your heart of stone, and I will give you a heart of flesh. This is what the Lord says, that he will take away your heart of stone, and he will give you a heart of flesh. And may that be your portion even now, with the power of the Holy Ghost, every soul fragment, every pain, trauma, and hurt that the enemy is connected to, we break those prison walls open now, in the name of Jesus Christ, and we declare healing by the authority of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you, okay? Thank you. No worries, bye-bye. <sighs> we will rise in your name Adonai we praise your name we will rise in your name, I do We praise your name, Kalipa Hasso Vahante. Zephyrkatelevekova and Seve Iskelevekova. Mendelevekun, Deleve Iskeven, Deleve Yan, Delevekova. We will rise, we will rise. There is something that God is doing right now. There are some of you that are, are dealing with the spirit of death and you don't even know it. There are some of you that are battling the spirit of death and you don't even know it. God is setting you free even now. God is setting you free even now. He's 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 setting you free even now. I'm telling you, oh, Shaka Talaba. Oh, my God. And, and, and listen to me. Those who are coming in right now, I'm only praying for those that really need deliverance from a demon. We're not doing healing prayers or anything like that. You know, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. The worst thing you do is come out here and say, look, you know, Man of God, pray for my direction in life. That's not the focal point here. If you know you need deliverance, you've been involved into witchcraft, 
you've been having strange encounters. Let me do it. I don't just, I don't want to, I don't want a huge list and then I'm really trying to focus on people because there's some of you that you're, the, the oppression that you're dealing with is catastrophic spiritually. Good, how are you? Doing absolutely amazing. What area did you need a uh, prayer for? Um, a few things. I feel like I need deliverance and and I kind of wrote down because I didn't want to forget them while we were, you know, things are popping up. Yeah. So I feel like there is like stagnation. Pardon? It's like I feel like what? Kind of like stagnant. stagnant. Like I feel God calling me, um, to go way deeper, like. I went deep, I feel like it's just much more for me, but then I feel like that pull back, like there's a huge resistance. Um, I feel like there's something in my, in my bloodline, like witchcraft, there's people that's, you know, done witchcraft in my family and I feel like it's affected me. And so I pray and I kind of, you know, renounce, denounce, repent, try to break those, come out of agreement with those generational curses, and all those things, but I feel like there's um, just something deeper that God wants to just set me free from and then also from um, abuse that I went through there's a, there's a lot of doors that's been open from that that God's delivered me from but I want them to be permanently closed yeah, have you been, been through those before um I have not not probably in like this but at church I've had people um my the elders of the church like hands on me and then just by their prayers I start coughing and I just I was free that day so I have went through deliverance just in a different way than so this do you, do you believe you're free right now i do believe i'm free okay. then what do you need deliverance for I, let me say this i believe that i am free but i believe that there is more of not just a choice but there's a stronghold if that makes sense okay so yes yeah, so you may be free from what they pray for you specifically yeah but a lot of people can get free let's say from the spirit of infirmity but they also have a spirit of, let's say, a spirit of death. You can get free from infirmity, but there's still a spirit of death. I'm not saying that's what you have, but when when we when we get revelation, this is why we need revelation from the Lord, because the Lord can reveal things that are hiding. Because as long as the stronghold is not broken down, those those spirits that are leaving you are low-ranking spirits. Yes. Because those low-ranking spirits are connected to the stronghold. Okay? We're, we're gonna pray. What what is your name? Alice. Alice. Father, we pray for Alice now in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, God, that even now that you're causing momentum in her life to go forward, that you're progressing her in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for her unique destiny. We thank you, Lord, for the favor upon her life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God. I pray, Father God, in Jesus' name, that every evil spirit of witchcraft, every demonic force, that is fighting her life. I command it to leave her now in Jesus' mighty name. Every demonic covenant, witchcraft within the bloodline, I command it to break now in Jesus' mighty name. It leaves now in Jesus' name. Stagnation, things within the bloodline that are limiting you, that are hindering your destiny and your purpose. I come against the spirit of sorcery. I come against the spirit of divination and I say, let her go now in the name of Jesus. I say, come out of her body even now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Vekuva Askeve, every principality that has been afflicting your life, ruling your life, and causing inconsistencies and limitations, I break the struggle. I break the struggle. I break the struggle. I break the struggle. I break the stronghold in the name of Jesus. Every residual spirit 
that is hiding within the body. The Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God in the pulling down of strongholds. We pull down those strongholds now in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold within your mind, within your body, within your soul, we pull it down in the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare from today that you are going forward, that every spirit of backwardness is being broken. Every spirit of anti-progression and delay is being broken in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that God will order your steps because the Bible says a good man's steps are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his ways. So I pray from today that you will walk in the path and in the timing that God has set out for you. From today forth in the name of Jesus and may your faith be restored, that radical faith may it be restored. And I pray in Jesus' name that you will go into a journey, a deeper intimacy with the Lord, that there will be a greater passion, that there will be a greater zeal where you will seek after the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus, where you'll encounter him in a way that you never have from today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you. God bless you, all right? Thank you, everyone. There's a heavy calling on that woman. Oh, my God. Let's try to do a few more. Hi. Um, so I had a dream with you um, last night, and it had to do with deliverance. Okay. And, and you were basically in. Um, it looked like it was a house, but you were like searching. Are you the one that messes me? Yes. Okay. And what was happening? Wait, message you one. Maybe it was another person because someone messaged me that and said that as well about. A dream like that today. That might be another oh, dream. no, no, no. I messaged you a long time ago. Okay. Okay, so it was a dream that I was praying for you or what? Basically, like you were searching in a house, like, and it's like you were just searching and trying to figure out what was the problem. But I, I got the revelation that, or interpretation that you were just trying to figure out what was the root of the issue. Okay. Have you been through deliverance before? i done a lot of self deliverance. You manifest? Yes. Let me give me a second. I'm gonna turn my brightness up. So there we go. Now I can see you. I had some more brightness when I was looking at. Okay. You. I also um had a dream after that that dream with you. I had a dream, but it was separate, and it was like a sexual spirit was trying to have sex with me, but I stopped it. But it was trying to start like something, but I haven't had a dream like that in a long time, so I thought it was already gone. Um, but then. And it just started to show me after the dream. Yeah. Do, do you know in dreams, you know, there are some people who the plan of the enemy is to seize their ability to dream. So just because a dream has stopped does not mean what is taking the, the what is taking place in the spirit realm has stopped. I agree. You know what I mean? So uh, take that in mind. But we're going to pray. How do you pronounce your name? Marissa Bell. Marissa Bell. And what are areas in your life that you're that you are really needing for God to move? What is, 
um, the struggle? Is there any struggle or anything like that, or is it just in general? Um, I haven't been struggling like with my with holiness. Thank God, I've been straight on that. But it's more like my me going to sleep early because I feel like the spirits don't want me to catch up on my dreams. It's so it's like restlessness. restlessness. Yes, okay. Father, Lord Jesus, I thank you, O oh God, because you are great and you are mighty and you care about this woman, God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that your Holy Spirit fire, as she dreamt that dream, will search throughout her body right now in the name of Jesus, that every evil spirit, every power, every stronghold, every soul fragment, every soul tie, every covenant with the spiritual spouse, we break it completely in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command these spirits to leave her now by the authority of Christ. Now, everything that engages with her in the night, that torments her in the night, that causes insomnia, restlessness, we destroy it now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we say, come out and let her go now. Completely. Completely. Every snake spirit, every python spirit, every spirit of incubus, we break that hold now in Jesus' name. We cancel it by the authority of Christ. Sexual dreams, sexual encounters, we destroy it now. We destroy it completely. God, I pray for the fire of God to come upon her now and purge every blood covenant, every stronghold, we command it to be broken in the name of Jesus, God. And every demon that is attacking her capacity to perceive in the spirit through dreams, Lord, we destroy it in the name of Jesus. We destroy it right now in Jesus' name. And I pray, God, that every assignment of witchcraft and sorcery against her life, God, that it will be broken tonight completely. It will be broken tonight in Jesus' name, God that she would encounter a form of deliverance right now, Father God, that will change, change the, traje the trajectory of her life from today, from today, from today that the nightmares, the demonic encounters will be broken, that the spiritual spouses, the demonic visitations will cease completely in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And God, I pray that doors will open that you have called to be open and doors will close that you have called to be closed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, okay? I also had um, my aunt, I had dreams that when you mentioned witchcraft, my aunts and my cousin, they showed up in my dreams a couple of times trying to feed me, and I, and I believe that was witchcraft. Yeah, so when you're having that dreams, it's 100% 100 witchcraft. And, you know, oftentimes in dreams, it can be the literal person, but the enemy will also take faces. And this is why when you get a dream, you're supposed to also always test it because the Bible says test all things. So you need to go into prayer and be like, Lord, what is this? Is this this? Is this? You need to seek the face of God because it converts confusion. But we'll pray. Father, everything, Lord Jesus, that has been fed to her or whatever spirit comes in the night to feed her food, to bring her into a covenant or to initiate her, I command everything to leave her now. Everything that has entered her body, we command it to go now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We cut it off completely. And we pray, God, that whatever spirit or person that may be waging war against her, we destroy their altars and their witchcraft and we release her from that bondage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, okay? God bless you too. Listen, I'm kind of tired. You know, um, Robert, how you doing? Hey, how are you? I'm doing amazing. I only picked you because I saw your question. 
for the question. That's pretty smart. Uh, yeah. Yes. I needed, I really need to, yeah. Deliverance, Kundalini, all that stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. I read it, so need deliverance from Kundalini spirit, demonic impartation of my faulty foundation. Yeah, Love yes. covenant and God. Okay. F Father, I pray for him now in Jesus' name. Everything he has listed, everything he has listed, I say, come out now, please. No. Everything that was listed, it says, I, I say, come out now in Jesus' name. Every Kundalini spirit, every Kundalini spirit, every demonic impartation, every faulty foundation, every blood covenant, ungodly dedication, ancestral altars. Come out now. Come out. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Completely. Totally delivered. Come out. Come out. Oh, my God. The fire birds. The fire birds. Oh my God. It comes out now. The Lord is setting you free. The Lord is setting you free. Yes, He's setting you free. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Oh, oh, the Lord is rewriting your story. Those that have sacrificed you, those that have done incantations against you, it breaks in the name of Jesus. It breaks. It breaks. It breaks. Oh. It breaks. <laughs> now, whatever is remaining in that body, leave now. Go. Everything. Go. Now. Go. 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 In the name of Go. Go. No more manifesting. Get out now. No more manifesting. Get out. Quickly. Come out for the arm now in Jesus' name. Go. Everything. Go. Cough it up, cough it up, go. We will rise in your name. Listen to me, sir. There are some things that the enemy has restricted from your life. That the Lord has just released. Yeah. Oh my God. I feel the anointing. There are some things that the enemy has restricted in your life. But the Lord has just released it. And there is a heavy weight of fire that is coming upon you even now. And I see the Lord literally setting you free from everything that you've been attached to from your ancestry completely. I see idols and strange things that were being practiced. The Lord said that he's setting you free from idolatry within the bloodline. May break now. Lord, I pray, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, that whatever stronghold is remaining in this man's body, Holy Spirit, I pray that you will search throughout the body and do what only you can do. Your word is true. You said if you have faith as a mustard seed, you'll be able to move mountains. However, these kinds of spirits will not leave except by prayer and fasting. Lord. We hold you to your word because we know you're not a liar. Lord, whatever is dealing is still in this man, Holy Ghost, I pray you remove it now. In Jesus' name, right now. Right now. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh. Oh. We will rise and tonight. Oh. We will rise. This is 
deliverance in this place. There is deliverance in this place. There's the fire. Oh my God. Oh my God. Every person that has been responsible, a human, that has been responsible for these initiations and covenants, their hold on you, it breaks now. Their hold on you, it breaks now. Oh my God. Their hold on you, it breaks now. Their hold on you, it breaks now. Their hold on you, it breaks now. Look, look, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Be totally free now in the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless, God bless you, okay? Yes, thank you, thank you. God bless you, take care. We will rise and don't oh. There's something peculiar happening tonight. There's something different about tonight. There's something different about tonight. There's something different about tonight. Oh. Oh, Shelebedee's event in the Kaiba Ascove is Kelebekaika. Oh, Sale Kulebe Ilebe Eco Be Kevin Subianza. We will rise at Hallelujah, I sing my praises to Jesus, I sing my praises to the Lord. Listen to me, for those of you that are requesting to, um, for deliverance, I might pray for a few more people. I want you to put your question in so I can see the question, because I'm not going to just, I'm, I'm, moving forward, I'm not just going to bring people on. I'm going to read your question. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. We will ride Adonai. You know what? I no longer have the capacity to see who requested to come on, so I'm gonna try to do this. Mr. Haley, I want you to comment because I'm gonna try to bring you on and because I can't see the request anymore. So let me see if I can do this. Let me see if I can do it like this. We will rise and tonight. Yeah. Oh, Will 
It says you're unable to join, Mr. HLA. You're unable to join. We were riding in the night. May I lie on a sickness? May I call you in me? My soul is in the shadow. It's not letting me. It's a tough one tonight. Guess what, guys? I can't see the request anymore, but we're gonna, go, we're gonna conclude this here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into prayer right now. It's not letting me. It's not letting me. Um, it's not letting me bring you guys in. So, guys, I'm gonna get off here. I love you guys. May the Lord bless you. I gotta spend some time in prayer right now for the next 20 minute, minutes or so. It just it's not letting me bring you guys on anymore. I can't even see my request anymore. It's just, I can look at the questions, but it's like, I can't see the requests, right? Um, but listen, I love you guys. May the Lord be with you guys. I don't know when I'm gonna do this again. Maybe three months. I, I, you, you know I never do this, right? I did it yesterday. Warfare, like a lot of you, warfare comes with it, but I'm not afraid of it. And, you know, I'm going to now pray for a bit. Offline, um, and for those that want to watch the deliverance over again because you went through deliverance, you can. It'll be this. This live will stay up, right? But anyways, God bless you guys. May the Lord be with you. In Jesus' mighty name, take care, brother.